Hello, welcome to Art Lessons with Renee. This is your warm up. You're going to write your name, draw your favorite animal. Here's the steps. Freeze it on this if you do not know how to draw an animal. I am going to time you guys five minutes for your warm up. So let me hit start. Go. You may start now. Okay. I am going to start with a charcoal pencil because it's darker for you all to see. And I'm going to start with a dog with a circle for a head, two eyes. However you want. You can make it really silly like a cartoon. Now I'm doing this while holding this, so I hope yours is better. But instead of just a normal dog, I'm going to do floppy ears. I'm going to have you guys have a plant, a flower growing out of the dog's or the animal's head. Okay. I'm just going to do a tulip type of flower, kind of like Jaden on the Nintendo video game. Okay. Then... I like doing a little doggy nose, a silly tongue coming out of the mouth. Now for his dog body, you could just have him sitting like that example. Freeze it on there if you need it. Or I'm going to have this dog, more of a standing dog with his tail coming out, wagging his tail. Remember, you can actually, if you want to use the iPads and go on YouTube, you can't look at music videos, but you could do how to draw a dog, how to draw a cheetah, how to draw and do things that you like in art to help. Okay, you might say, I'm done Mrs. Smith, but don't stop here. I want you guys to do tone. Tone is when you add some dimension and finish your picture by going from dark to light. Okay, dark to light. You could do a little tone bar to practice. Now I'm going to have him standing on a hill and looking at water down here. And I'm going to have a little fish jumping out of the water and say, hey, how you doing there? Okay, so you get to draw whatever you want in your picture. Now, if the sun is coming from here, the light's going to be here, and his shadow and the darker side will be this side. And a little shadow coming down. This is where I'm asking you guys to add a little bit of tone for dimension. Okay, I'm going to do some spots on my dog, have a little bit of tone, which is a darker side and has more dimension. By just doing, using the side of your pencil and doing, doing little, this is tone, just doing little circles like this so you have some darker and lighter areas. Then if you got time, you could do some what? Some flowers down here. Just really quickly to finish your composition because you have two minutes left in your five minute timed warm up. So don't stop here. However much time you have, let's finish this. And don't forget the first thing. Now remember, I'm filming while drawing. I'm hoping yours will come much better than mine. While you're doing this, you're going to do what? Write your name. <laughs> do this now. Write your name if you have not when you draw your favorite animal. So that way you can get this in your portfolio. I'm going to sign my name right here, my artist's signature, because I am Renee Smith. So I'm going to sign it, not as Mrs. Smith, my name. So everybody knows it's mine. I'm going to add, what am I going to add? I have like a whole minute left. I'm going to add a little what on the hill, because I like these animals too. A little bunny. And this bunny is going to have a different kind of flower growing out of his head. And this bunny is going to be friends with the dog. All right, so I have a one minute left to finish tone. Tone is when you have a darker, shadowy side, and it adds dimension to your art. So instead of just having a plane, so just see how much you could do in five minutes because we are down to one minute left for your five minute drawing. I'm thinking, oh, I have some more time. What can we do? All right, now I'm gonna end one minute early with the countdown, actually 43 seconds, and have you guys finish on your own. All right, just about done. Time to wrap up and do your final details on your favorite animal drawing. Good job, ta-ta for now. That's it for your five minute warm up.